trimming your beard, having a shave. It's, it's almost something of a ritual, isn't it? It can be a pain in the backside as well sometimes, to be honest. But in other times, in other places, it could be even more significant and symbolic, and meaningful. It could even be life and death. In Welsh legend from the time when a man's beard really meant something. Then we hear of Kilhuch, a young man who was under a destiny sworn upon him that he could marry no one other than Olwen, the daughter of Isbavaden, chief of giants. But Isbavaden did not want to see his daughter marry anyone. And so he set a list, a litany, a legendary length of impossible tasks in front of Kiluch, the most important of which was to make sure that Isbavadin's beard was properly trimmed and his hair was done all nice for the wedding feast. But Isbavadin's hair and beard, because he was chief of giants, were so wild and thick and hard and tangled that it wouldn't take any razor to do it, no. It could only be done with the golden shears and comb to be found between the ears of Tuch Truith, the sinful tyrant king who was changed by God for his evil ways into the shape of an immense, spine-snorting, monstrous wild boar who would lay all to ruin rather than give up the treasure between his ears. And so it would take gods and legends and beings of the most ancient tales to see this task done. But Kyuhu was in luck because his cousin was none other than King Arthur himself. And King Arthur and all his warriors were all ready and lined up to stand beside Kuhu as he set out upon his quest. And if you want to find out what happens, well, I shall be telling the whole tale of Kilhu and Olwen online on Friday the 16th of April at 7pm. I'll see you there.